Hello, canoeist Lisa D. Hart here, Three Minutes with a Main Guide, and we're going to continue our thing on gear, and I just want to touch on traditional clothing. Um, you know, a lot of times when we guide, guests will say, you know, geez, how come you guys stay so dry and comfortable and this and that, and it's pretty simple. Things haven't changed in a hundred years. You get yourself a decent hat, a pair of wool gloves, a nice wool coat. You know, you keep your neck covered, a nice pair of functional wool pants for spring and fall. Um, these I love, these are German wool army pants. Um, they got the big, deep uh, pockets in the, in the, on the side. They started putting cargo pockets on the front. I don't know what is up with that. That works good when you're sitting and you need to get a cell phone out. And I can't really think of anything else it works for. Um, these are huge. These are so huge you can walk through the woods carrying a hatchet and you won't even know you got it on you. Um, just wool is the only thing that you can get soaking wet and it'll retain 85% of its insulating. Is there probably something more more stylish? Uh, probably, but functional? I'm going to say absolutely not. I love this. Well, let me trip it down. I love this pocket here. I love that it's pleated so you can stuff endless crap in there. Um, it comes with a button fly because you're not going to fix a zipper in the, in the middle of nowhere. And then there's all these little extraneous buttons that if you do lose a button on the fly, you can take from just about everywhere and repair it. You're not going to repair. It's difficult to repair. Uh, a zipper in the field. Here's another thing about these German wool army pants. I don't know if you can hear this. That is actually a waterproof layer that they sandwiched in between the wool. So if you're sitting at your post and it's snowing, your lap doesn't get wet. It works super great as a spring polar. When that pole comes across and you kind of rest it on your knee. And uh, I see a lot of young canoeists, they're all closed up in a dry suit. And back in the day, you did a dry suit if the air temperature and the water temperature was going to equal less than 100. So let's say the air temperature is like 55 degrees out and the, wa and the water's like just above freezing, let's say 35. So that equals less than a hundred. And now I see them and you know, it's got to be like 65, 70 out. And they've got that dry suit peeled down to here and just with the arms tied around here. And I can't imagine the misery of that. The other thing about wool is it has a huge temperature range. You can be comfortable from, you know, freezing right up through just below 70 and it breathes. And if there's tons of room in it, like there is these, you know, the air just moves through. It's so great. So if you want to stay comfortable and functional out here, don't and not spend a lot. Don't reinvent the wheel. Look at those old photographs. See what they did back in the day when they spent almost every day outside. I'm Lisa Dehart. You've just spent three minutes with a main guide.